Hi everyone, and a warm welcome to Low Season Traveller Insider Guides. This past month, we were invited over to the islands of Tahiti by our good friends at Tahiti Tourism so that we could learn exactly what the experience is like for visitors during the low season period. The islands of Tahiti are arguably among the most stunningly beautiful in the world. Formed from the demise of three volcanoes, these islands have not only an incredible natural beauty, but they also have an ancient, rich and diverse cultural heritage which remains strong to this day. In this series, we seek to learn more about the traditions, beliefs, culture and heritage as we set out to discover the true essence of Tahiti when we meet the Tahitians. Episode 2 Tewa E. Olivier Lenoir, or Tewa E as he's known locally, is known for his fascinating and exhilarating 4x4 tours of the Papanu Valley in Tahiti's lush tropical interior. Originally from Tahiti's Austral Islands, Tewa E is well known for his knowledge of the cultural traditions of the Tahitian Islands and he plays a vital role in keeping his cultural ancestry alive through his tours and through his acclaimed dance troupe. In this episode, I caught up with Tewa E during our expedition with him in the Papanu Valley, where he spoke with me about his concerns for the future of the Tahitian culture and how tourism is playing an increasingly vital role in the protection and preservation of their cultural heritage. Enjoy. My name is Tewa E. I'm from the Osras Island. My dad from Tahiti. Uh, so I live in Tahiti. I'm a dancer professional. I'm also I'm a guide touristic hiking out. Yorana, Yorana, and thank you so much. We've spent um, what three or four hours with you today, and you've shown us through the interior of the island of Tahiti, and you've taught us a huge amount um, about your culture. Um, which is clearly uh, very, very important to you. Um, can you tell us a little bit as to why the Tahitian culture is so important to you and why you're so passionate um, about the fact that your culture could be at risk? Uh, yeah, you know what? Um, I'm lucky like, that my grand-grandparents shared me all those knowledge. You know, I'm worried for me. I live, you know, my culture, my tradition, that's... That's how people know me, who I am, you know. Like I say, I didn't go to school, you know. My school is this, the life <laughs> living with my grandparents. I, I don't regret today. And for me, it's very important for me to, to keep alive that cultural tradition, you know what I mean? Uh, so, it's not that easy, you know. As example, as a dancer, everything I'm teaching to uh, the young generation, I speak all in Tahitian language, my own language. Because for me, the language, is, is the key to keep alive that culture we have. It's also the key to reconnect us as humankind. You know what I mean? Uh, so for me to live with that culture, and I'm proud. And, and for the new generation, that to remind them that don't disconnect completely from your culture and tradition. Come back, come back. The, 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 our Tupuna living that life way back in the day. Our Tupuna trying to teach us to the way of living with the nature and keep on that by respecting the nature. Um, this is to make me today keep on on that one, you know, to try to survive. We, it's not that easy with the things come from a Western society, influence the mind about our, uh, the generation today. And, I'm a little bit worried about it. I don't know, yeah. I don't know, I don't know if that culture is, can be. Do you, do, you feel, do you feel that maybe there might be a, a new, the next generation might be keen to, to get more in touch with their forefathers and ancestors if, if they thought that there was a risk of losing their identity? Mm -hmm. Do you think that maybe the next generation will be more enthusiastic than ever to, to hold on to the, 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 the culture and heritage that you have? Well, I hope so. Mm. When I hope so. And uh, what, you know, again, like I said, that 
the things influence them, they came from Western society. society. Uh, no. First of all, even th their own language today, they don't speak it anymore. Less people are speaking Less the language. Less speaking the language today. That's so sad. I, I say, like, my, I have a group of dance of 460 people. I speak only in Tahitian. When I speak to them, they look at me. And then I ask them, did you understand what I said? They don't say, they say, yes. And after when I get inside, that's when they come to me and say, look, What chef, did you say? <laughs> I didn't understand what yeah. I said. That's a shame. That's, that's are, you a see, shame. are you seeing more people in the signing up for the for the dance classes? Yeah, I see. But yeah. for me, they are not there for love. It's not something that just coming from the trip of that, but the bottom of that trip. I think just right there, they are there just thought that they see them on TV. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, one thing I I when I look in about the culture right now, the people from outside, like. Japan, United States, all over, they love our culture. They love more than our culture. Example, in Japan, they have over 300,000 people practice our dance. No, it's really? More, it's more than our own population over here. Wow. I, I couldn't believe That's incredible, that. huh? So, compared to our children over here, they are not really understand. What makes me worry about that, it could be that tomorrow it's the people from outside. They are the ones coming to teach in our children tomorrow about their culture wow, yeah. and tradition. This is my opinion. You know, example, just a couple of weeks ago, I have a group of people, Maori, with me in Japan. It was amazing. They speak to Asian. You no. know what? Yes. You know what? It's been, it brings me tears in my eyes. Yeah. Why? Because of our own people. Mm. Very glad they don't. It put me chill. I know what it's impossible that we as our we are not proud about our culture and tradition. They want they don't want to live about that culture and bring back that culture and survive through that culture. It's people from our time. Yeah. They are loving about our culture. That's so sad. Do do you believe that the that the, the, the Tahitian culture, do you think that, that is a draw for tourism? to Tahiti and the islands? Well, that's, I mean, yeah, they bring tourists over here. I mean, it's just like, um, it looks like the outside. Mm. Everything like, of the outside. Because we, of course, we want the tourists over here. Of course. But now just came over here just for, you know, I, I wish that they came over here a lot. Let's say that they, to know about our culture, our history. And then the message that we can share to them, they can take with them. You know, I can learn from them, but also them, they can learn from us cool. as a people, a people of the nature, a people of the ocean, that they can bring with them that the story we can share to them. And then to, and also to learn that we are all human, but we need to respect each other, the culture of each people of that town. We have to respect that culture because no culture, no tradition, no language has a people for me that it doesn't exist. Mm. That. I want to thank you so much for taking the time, first of all, to show us your island. For all of the, the stops along the way, we've, we've done this tour with you for, for the past four hours. Learned so much about so many of the plants along the way, the medicinal properties of the plants. Um, you've brought us to a very spiritual place on the inland, which, uh, frankly, yeah. really moved me. I, f I felt something there. Um, but it's just been such an incredible and um, possibly life-changing experience. Um, and I want to thank you very sincerely from the bottom of my heart for that. And I hope that tourists will continue to come here in the low season or, indeed, in any season. But I hope they take the opportunity to truly learn about the, the Tahitian and Polynesian culture from people like yourself as well. well thank you for you guys to, you know what I mean, to come see us so we can share about our history. Maruru and Maruru Maitai. Maruru. Maruru.